you'll often have to reproject your data into a custom projection. So something that doesn't exist by default in your GIS or that isn't loaded already. Any GIS will allow you to create its own custom projection. You can create a custom geographic projection, also a custom planar projection, so a geographic coordinate reference system or a planar coordinate reference system. In the screen, you'll see quite a few layers that have been added. I've got some schools, homesteads, outline of an urban area, wall, and so forth. All of these layers are currently in a geographic coordinate reference system, WGS 1984. You can see that here, Buffalo City, Homestead Schools, Urban Area, and the Ward, and the DM are all in this WGS 1984 coordinate reference system. Now these data are actually located in South Africa, and if I want to do distance calculations, buffering, anything like that, I should really project my data into a planar projection that is suitable for this particular area in South Africa. Now South Africa has a coordinate reference system, a geographic coordinate reference system that is specifically being created for this country. So we have the Haji Beers Tuk Geographic Coordinate Reference System, which is a more accurate geographic projection than the WGS 1984. And I would also like to project this into a planar projection, and I can see that it's centered more or less around 27 degrees, so I can create a projected system that uses 27 degrees east as my central meridian. So how do I do that? Well, the simplest way is to simply use the project tool. You'll find this tool in your geoprocessing tools. You, of course, select your input data set, and for example, your Buffalo City data set or feature class. And then normally, if you project into a projection that's already in the map, you can just select any one of these files, and then the input layer will be projected into the projection of the layer that you select here. You can also select a coordinate system by using the built-in ones that ARC has available for you. However, if I would like to create a custom projection, I simply say new geographic or new projected coordinate system. In this case, I would like to create a new planar coordinate reference system. You'll have to give it a name, for example, heart94, hello27. I would like it to be in meters because we use meters in South Africa. This particular one in the South African system will be a transverse Mercator. The central meridian will be 27, 27 east scale factor 1 is fine. Then you can also set the geographic coordinate system. As I already mentioned, in South Africa we use a local one called the Hardy Beerstuk 1994. You will simply have to find it in the ones that are already stored or and available within the GIS. So you're looking for a GCS, the geographic coordinate system, and it starts with an H. It's the Hardy Beerstuk. So there it is, and you will save that. As you can see here, this is a custom one, and you can now project your layer onto that. Because the current layer is actually stored in WS84, there will be a geographic transformation that occurs when you do the projection, so how to be a to WGS 1984. And if you hover over it, you'll see all the input parameters there. Right. So it has been added to a ferret because it's a custom projection, so the custom projection automatically gets added to your screen. And once you run this, your output layer will be now projected into this custom projection. As you can see here, if you go to the source layer, Spatial reference is the hard to be a 294 LA27 that you've created. It is in meters, it is centered on 27 degrees east, and it is based on the hard to be a 294 geographic coordinate system.